Uncertainty continues to grow whether the start of Makere University's new semester will begin, with the student guild leaders now declaring that they will join in the academic staff strike that starts on Monday. The decision to strike was made by the lecturers yesterday until the National Insurance Corporation returns the pension funds under the Deposit Administration Scheme worth 16.5 billion shillings. The dispute has been ongoing since 2005. We are going to march on the streets of Uganda. We are going to start from the streets of Makerere. Then after we go outside on the streets of Uganda, we show the world that what is happening in Makerere at the moment is not good. So we're just going to come and help them, back them up, such that we can be addressed, such that we can cause the attention of government to intervene into this issue. However, the Minister of State for Higher Education, Mwesigwa Rukutana, has warned the lecturers against any action that disrupts students' classes. I can't guess on that, but it is unfair for them to uh, uh, hold innocent people at ransom for a matter for which they are not uh, party. Today, Masa received a communication from Uganda Insurance Commission showing willingness to talk, but Masa says talks in the past have not yielded anything. What Nick has been giving us in letters of promising as soon as possible, we promise as soon as possible we shall give Makerere an answer. We are tired of promises. The dispute is compounded with a disagreement on figures, with the university lecturers claiming over 16 billion, while Nick tabulates the amount at 13 billion shillings. A five-year tug of war between Nick and Makere's staff might bring Uganda's largest and oldest institution of higher learning to its knees, unless a compromise is struck pretty fast. The opinion of a new, of a new academic year, which is less than 24 hours away, hangs in a balance. Sudibi Arhanga, NTV, Makere.